Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of I'm on Observation Duty. So I believe this will be the last one because there is one more achievement that I have not yet gotten and I believe I have an idea of how to get it. So we're going to go back to the old house. I don't believe it's going to be like a full playthrough or anything, but partway through we're going to discover the secret. Um, and what I want to keep my eye on is this picture frame that's in the bottom right corner. Skip message, thank you. Um, so it, if you see this um, picture frame on the bottom right corner next to this doorway, um, there's a little dot on it that'll start flashing at some point. And so I want to click on that and I think it will like give me a message on what to do next. So for now we're just going to play normally and kind of look through and wait for uh, that to happen. So yeah, I believe this will be maybe like a little bit more than half the usual runtime for a single round, so like maybe 15, 20 minutes, I want to guess. So we're going to see what happens. Um, I haven't touched this in a while, by the way, um, since the last time I re recorded, so I feel like I'm already... A little rusty, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna need to remember any of this anyway for... Uh, well, since I'm gonna be moving on to the next game um, afterwards, so... We are good. We are fine. We are living, breathing, thriving, all that good stuff. <laughs> um, right. I don't see any differences over here yet. Nothing out of the ordinary, I don't believe. Unless I'm oblivious, which I'm likely very much oblivious. I wonder if that painting is different. I will dutifully check. Is there a painting? Oh, never mind. Well, wasn't that good timing. Oh. Um, what else? What else could there possibly be? Probably nothing yet, but I will keep an eye out. I feel like that light, um, I, I've noticed that light, um, uh, the light on the picture frame flashing before. I think it was pretty early into the game, so we don't have to wait terribly long. big idea is all about. Um. I don't think anything else has changed yet. Is that chair out slightly? Object movement. I feel like the chair closest to us at the table is pulled out a little bit. Oh, that's a different painting. You don't look fun. Bedroom painting anomaly. Anomalisa. <laughs> the Mona Lisa, but in anomaly form. The Anomalisa. Anyway, um, oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Any any day now. Give me the give me the flashies. Well, okay, I shouldn't say flash me, but it's kind of what I want to happen. So, yep. Hmm. Oh, that, uh, the tower rack moved. <laughs> Good lord, I couldn't click that for the life of me. Movement. 
Um, okay. Still not flashing yet. I wonder if it'll flash after the first hour has gone by or something. It's a possibility. Oh, yep. Let's listen. Balcony. 3.30. Input. Year. Of. Mandela's death. Okay. So... We have to be over here in this camera by 3.30. And it said to input the year of Nelson Mandela's death, which I think... I think actually earlier this month, so I'm recording this on... Um, December 17th now. I think, like, December, I want to say the 5th or the 6th, um, of 2013 is when he passed, so it's been 10 years now. So that's kind of helpful to remember. Oh, wait, is there... No. No, I don't think anything's changed. Unless I'm a fool. That's a possibility, too. Mm-hmm. I don't see anything. By the way, if you don't know who uh, Nelson Mandela is, he was a South African um, activist um, who fought against the apartheid um, that was going on in South Africa. And basically, apartheid is kind of like um, when one ethnic group, um, you know, kind of holds all the power while the others, um, like they have a lack of power and they're being actively discriminated against. Like they'll usually have less job opportunities and um you know like the the system is designed to keep them down so um yeah that happened in south africa um it's happening in palestine of course well i mean uh they've moved on to the genocide aspect but i'm not going to get too much into that because i'm also trying to focus on this um okay yeah, it's a it's a it's a shameful thing to see but um I'm glad that, you know, people like Nelson Mandela were able to stand up and, um, wait, did that chair move? I don't, the chair moved. I'm going to guess. That doesn't look familiar. Um, but yeah, I'm glad that folks like Nelson Mandela were able to come along and make a difference. Even if it had a lot of, um, costs in his own in his own life, like, uh, I think he was in prison. He was thrown in prison for some time um, because he was against the apartheid. And they were like, uh-uh-uh. <laughs> I'm oversimplifying it, I'm sure, but... What? Oh, boy. Okay, I really need to focus now. Okay. Um. Well, shoot. What the heck am I missing? Uh, ooh. This is not good. This is not good at all. Am I missing a camera, maybe? Oh, I am. I'm missing the be Oh. That's probably... That's probably why I'm missing the bedroom camera. Um... Is there anything else? I don't know if those chairs swapped. I don't think they did. Man, this is pending. Okay, there we go. I was about to say that was taking a long time, and the painting's different. That's why all the things were happening, because I couldn't see them. Okay, I think that means there might be like one other anomaly going on, if I remember correctly. Um, but I can't see it. I haven't noticed it yet. Mm hmm. Oh, cigar missing. On uh, the balcony. Object of disappearance. 
pronounce mispronouncing words on purpose has always been a funny thing to me. I don't know why. Like that or um switching the first letters around like anomaly fixed for example like it's well no that's probably a bad example because once yeah like a camera balcony how about camera calcony i don't know very very dad humor kind of stuff um again another way to fill up the empty space and i'm not talking because i feel like it's even more boring if i'm not talking but if i'm uh Pointlessly meandering. Oh, there's a there's a sphere in the room. <laughs> That's an odd presence. Um, extra object. Yeah, if I don't fill the space and it's just silent, um, I feel like it's kind of boring. But if I'm pointlessly meandering with whatever I'm talking about, then it just gets confusing or too distracting, so. But it's okay. We're just passing the time. I don't see anything yet. I wonder, like, how do I input the... Like, do I just type on my keyboard? Or maybe I have to, um... Click an uh, anomaly input or something for the balcony. Kind of like, uh, when the, when the huge man was there last episode. In, in the new house. God, that was crazy. I was like, huh? What? He's not an intruder. He's a huge man. A huge man. Um, let's see. Is there anything? Anything at all down here in the deep blue sea? I haven't noticed anything else. Not yet. I think my voice is uh, still not completely warmed up yet because I can, I still have um, aspects of my lower bassy bass register. I just get a little deeper. Um, <laughs> yeah, no. If it's not, um, if it's not really warmed up, oh, that's a twitchy box. If it's not um, really well warmed up, then of course I'll still have um, the the really low end of my of my voice. My voice, uh, I, I, I like to, um, try to play around with the upper and lower extents of it. And I think I have about, um, four octaves in my vocal range, but I only really use, like, two and a half. Um, so from a singer aspect, while I, I sing bass too in choir, I'm a low bass. And I usually use my chest voice, um, as opposed to... My falsetto register, which is kind of like what you would hear Mickey. Oh, that changed. <laughs> that was very obvious. Um, think of like Mickey Mouse when he uh, speaks in that really high pitched voice. I don't really use that often. It's kind of underused. And it's a stylistic uh, thing too. Some people tend to use it more like Adam Levine or I don't know. People like tenor kind of voices like that. I just keep it low. I keep it on the down low. I could be a narrator for all I know. That would be kind of cool to do voice acting. I would need to really develop um, different impressions, make them stand out more, but that takes time and I'm Dedicating my time to recording stuff like this. So. <laughs> um. I haven't seen any other anomalies yet. Nothing new. Nothing different. Might be good, might be bad. Oh, no, not you again. Alright. Oh, here he comes. Oh, go away. I'm gonna watch you from in here. Why is why is legs so long? It's like uh, yeah, uh, yeah. You're weird. You're just all sorts of weird. <laughs> I love how I used to be scared of that guy, and now I'm like, oh, 
Yeah, hi friend. Uh, you're not welcome, but... Hi. <laughs> Um, I was gonna say, his, his proportion, he's not very proportional, his legs are super long and gangly. Just a, a freak of nature, a mess that one. I mean, I guess it's uncalled for, but you know it's true. <laughs> All these intruders are just weird, weird, weird. Okay, we have 30 in-game minutes. Which is like, how many... Seconds? Ah, I'm not even going to try to math. <laughs> but math ain't mathin'. Like... I was going to say 300 seconds. I don't think it's that long. 150 seconds. So I think that's three minutes. No? I just... Yeah. Uh, I give up. <laughs> I used to be good at multiplication. Oh, 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 God. Okay, that actually startled me. There's a weird baby man in the bathroom. Uh, quickly. Okay. <laughs> oh God, what a, what a big head. It. He's like Arnold <laughs> from Hey Arnold. Move it, football head. <laughs> See, that's my falsetto register. For those who don't know what that is. I can speak really high and I can also speak really low. Do different vocal registers. Use different uh, muscles to use, or I, I, I uh, contract different muscles to uh, access those parts of my voice. Yeah, I, I don't really use the high stuff for singing unless it's like if I'm making background vocals. I like to do very breathy and yeah, thin and breathy, so it kind of like paints an atmosphere of, you know, floatiness, if that makes sense. I don't know. <laughs> You're also good if I want to emphasize a melody, like add an extra octave on top of it. Did I just hear something, or is that me? Is that just me? I actually don't know. I thought I heard a thud. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's the jiggly ghost. You made a return. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I did not miss that guy. That's probably what the thud was. I actually couldn't tell if I heard that in the game or if that was just my uh, headphones doing a thing. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Well, it's 3.31 now. Let's see if it'll... Uh, if I press balcony. Input? Is that it? What's it gonna do? Oh! Enter code. Okay. 2013. I think I did it. I think? Hello? Oh, I got it. Hello, Timothy. Discover the secret. That's the achievement I got. Oh, boy. Open your eyes. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, yes? Oh, hello. Are you, are, are you Timothy? Trying to click on stuff around you. Do I click you? Oh. I'm clicking his arm. Okay. Your head? What do I do? Is, is this it? Oh. Oh. I can't do anything else. Ugh. Don't smile at me like that, you creep. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> why? Oh. I don't know. I don't know why I did that to Timothy. I guess I'll press yes. I admit to my mistakes. Oh. Alright, that, that was the little secret Easter egg deal. <laughs> Alright, that, that 
makes the last episode of I'm on Obs uh, Observation Duty. So the next time you see an upload for this series, it'll be on game number two. So if you liked everything you saw, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And to hit that notification bell to stay up to date on future content from me. My name's Peyton, signing off. Bye.